The question asks us to find the sum of prime numbers that are greater than 60 but less than 70. So, of course, the first thing we need to know is what exactly is a prime number? A prime number is a number that has no factors except for itself and 1. It's not divisible by any number other than 1. So the real trick is to figure out which numbers here are prime numbers. Well, first of all, here are a few tricks for finding prime numbers. We know that even numbers cannot be prime except for 2. 2 is the only even prime number. Every other even number is divisible by 2. So we'll begin by crossing out the even numbers. They can't be prime. Any number that ends in 5 is divisible by 5, so it can't be prime. So 65 is out. So that leaves us down to just four numbers. Now, a really cool trick to find if a number is divisible by 3 is to add the digits. So 61, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 is not divisible by 3, so 61 is not divisible by 3. 6 plus 3 equals 9. That is divisible by 3. That means 63 is divisible by 3. So we cross 63 out. 67, 6 plus 7 is 13. That's not divisible by 3. 6 plus 9, that's 15. That is divisible by 3. So 69 is divisible by 3. That's not a prime number. The only other prime number that we have to check, we have to check 2, 3, 5, and then 7. And we have to ask ourselves, are any of the remaining numbers multiples of 7? Well, it turns out that, in fact, one of the numbers we crossed out, 63, is 7 times 9. So that's the multiple of 7. So 61 is not a multiple of 7, and 67 is not a multiple of 7. That's enough to establish that these two are prime numbers. And, of course, once we have that, then it's relatively easy. The sum of those two numbers is 128. And that is answer choice B.